Popular Reno National Championship air racer Diana Stanger and a passenger were critically injured in an apparent forced landing in her L-139 highly modified Albatross jet aircraft on Wednesday, the 19th of April in Wise County, Texas. Here's what we know so far. My name's Juan Brown. You're watching the Blanco Lirio channel. According to the Aviation Safety Network on 19 April, the Aero Vidocity L139 will get into that in a second. Albatross, this is a modified L39, November 1390 Alpha, zero fatalities near Bridgeport Municipal Airport, Bridgeport, Texas. An Aero Vidocity L139 Albatross 2000 impacted open field terrain and came to rest in an empty barn during an apparent forced landing while on approach to Bridgeport Municipal Airport, Bridgeport, Texas. The two occupants of the experimental Aero Vidocity L139 single engine jet were seriously injured and the aircraft was written off. And here's a remarkable picture that tells a whole story of a pilot maintaining control of her aircraft all the way into the end of the crash but still resulted in critical injuries. As these jet aircraft, they're not equipped with ejection seats. When you do a forced landing in these aircraft, they do come down hard. Here's a better view of that remarkable shot of the aircraft just stuffed inside this barn, but it looks completely intact in the cockpit area here. According to the FlightAware data, the short 15-minute flight departed from Perot Field, uh, Fort Worth, Texas, climbed to an altitude of about 3,600 feet. Looks like they went underneath some weather, about 250 miles per hour, and then circled over the Bridgeport Airport, descending to 1,300 feet. The field elevation there is about 800 feet, doing a pass down the runway at only 150, 160 miles an hour. Climbed right up to 4,000 feet, 265 miles an hour, and then proceeded just north of the airport. And then did a left-hand turn, losing speed and altitude, and then dropping off radar right about there. In an apparent forced landing, engine failure, these aircraft only have one jet engine, somewhere just along the eastern shore of Bridgeport Lake, shy of the airport. The L-39 is a relatively affordable warbird aircraft today, imported mostly from Czechoslovakia as former trainers. The stock engine being the Ivanchenko AI-25, putting out about 3,800 pounds of thrust. What makes Darkstar a unique aircraft is that this aircraft was converted from the stock engine to a Garrett TFE 731 turbofan engine putting out a little over 4,000 pounds of thrust and that's where they changed the designation from an L39 to an L139. The only L39 that I know of that has this engine conversion but when you do these engine conversions there's a lot of engineering involved with the relatively complex systems of these uh, jet aircraft, experimental jet aircraft. So it'll be interesting to see what the crew or the team finds out as to what was the cause of this forced landing. At last year's Reno National Championship Jet Class Qualifying, Diana qualified in the, looks like the sixth position at 439 miles per hour along the eight plus mile closed course. In 2021, Diane won second place silver at 432 miles an hour. On last year's Saturday Heat Race 1A, Diane got third place at 427 miles an hour as several other jets were disqualified and of course on Sunday there was the fatal crash of Aaron Hogue in Ballista due to a G-induced loss of consciousness previously covered on this channel. So we're all hoping for a speedy recovery of Diana and her passenger in this apparent forced landing attempt in what appears to be a great example of what Bob Hoover always told us at the Reno National Championship Air Races to fly the aircraft as far as you can into the crash. And that's about as far as you can go in an L-39. Thank you for your support, especially the folks over on Patreon that make this content possible. See you here.